Hey guys, welcome to the first part of the Carter legacy. If you did not see my cast video of Carter and just explaining her background a little bit and where she came from, I suggest checking that video out first, but I will just give like a small little recap about what I spoke about in that video, but still I think you should go check that video out first. Um, so this is Anya Carter and she wants to be a scientist. She's actually in the scientist career. She recently just graduated college. I actually didn't put her in university or be gone through the whole Discover University thing, only because it would have gave her a really high jump in her career, and I did want to start from the bottom and work our way up. She came from a really toxic home, I guess. Her mom, Harriet, and her dad, Paul, had like a really hoarded house because Harriet had a really bad hoarding problem. And Harriet unfortunately died in the horde, and so did her dad. Anya decided to, you know, and demolish the house and literally start fresh, you know? So <laughs> I can show you really what her house looks like. So I played a little bit off camera just so I can get to know Anya a little bit. But this is really what we're working with. We just have like a little box. It only has like a little cot bed, a cooler, and a shower. There's no floors, there's no walls, there's no seal, there's no um, lights or anything. There's no wall wallpaper on the walls or on the exterior. She has a little bush over here so she could pee in and she has a small little garden that she started. But we're about to go to work so we're getting Anya ready. I think she starts work at 10, yeah. So we're just getting her ready for work. She can pee in the bush. She can fertilize in the bush and probably shower. Ooh, did she finish? Yeah. Just kind of sucks that you know, these meals don't really fill her up completely, but, you know, we're working on it. But we're just going to spend the day at work so we can just get to know Anya together. But I think before we even go, I think I want to add some type of wallpaper because she does have 376 simoleons. So maybe I like a darker one. Maybe like something like that. And I kind of want to change the roof trim to like a black. I think it's this roof trim. Yeah. Something like that. And on the inside, we can probably add like some flooring or something because she literally has nothing. And I sometimes feel bad when I see that because I'm just like, girl deserves more. But we're just going to do like a white and some like really, really basic flooring. Actually, I might do the, uh, the Eagle Lifestyle one. Yeah, something like that. Something that's really just going to help her, you know. Ooh, where'd she get this from? I don't know where she got this laptop from. I really don't know where she got this laptop from. Yeah, where did you get this laptop from? You know what? We're just gonna keep it because we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to need a computer at some point, and if we don't have to buy it and we just have it, that's cool with me. Um, so she has like a little poster from work. She has some stuff that she can actually sell, which is nice. So she can have some money. These I don't know if I want to start like at elements table or something I don't know can we send these to the geo council I kind of want to do that it's like the not so berry challenge but like I'm not even trying to do that but I want to send those to the to the geo council so we can just do the elements table because I've never did it I like never done it daily experimentation welcome to the future sim lab you will be quite busy conducting essential experiments, researching new technology, and maybe even act interacting with alien life. It is your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purposes of good, we hope. Well, welcome. <laughs> so this is, pro I think this is our third day in the lab, actually. We are actually the in the level two of the science career. We are actually a, an apprentice inventor. So first we need to chat with the invention constructor for 10 minutes. So let's go find that. I think that's over here. Um, so she started to have some friends. I started making her, yeah, she has friends. She's friends with the invention constructor as well. She met Oswald at a bar. Um, oh, is he, a, he's an astronaut. Ooh, I forgot about that. We met Cameron as well. We're actually playing in the little Simsy, um, game saves. So, that's why these um, townies might look a little different. So we met Cameron Page, also at the club. We met Christopher Lan Lannister. He's actually, he works here actually. I don't know if he's here today. Yeah, he's over here. Yeah, Christopher Lannister, he's here. Um, and J Jason Lee. 
And Jason Lee is actually over here. I also want to be friends with Maria as well, but it's taking a little bit longer to do so because every time I try to talk to her, for some reason, my game glitched. Okay, so we're done chatting with the robot. We're gonna have to ask a coworker for metal. This is a perfect time to actually get to know Maria. Here you go. I have some extra medals lying around. This is Anya's dream. And she's finally doing it. And I bet you her parents are looking down at her. Very proud, you know? It's funny because when she experiments on here, that's when she gets all those robot salvage parts. And that's why I was able to sell like 19 of them. Because literally every time she does it, she gets more. Ooh, we need to throw those out too. Let's throw out the food that's in her inventory. Because we don't have a trash can at home. So I usually wait until we get here to do it. Also, I like to harvest some plants here if there's any like able to be harvested because we use those in our garden as well. Oh, we need to water them too. Still experimenting. We're at seven robo parts right now. So I want to make sure she's using the bathroom and eating and socializing and having fun with her friends and stuff. And most of the time she works overtime because, you know, she doesn't like to go home and stuff because it's pretty depressing the way she's living and no one really knows about it except Cameron. Cameron's the only one that actually seen her house. Because she accidentally just went over there. Because you know how Sims just be entering, um, went, going to your house and stuff. So she really didn't want people to know where she was living. But she ended up finding out. But she didn't judge her. She just understood that some things are a little different. Maria and Jason are having lunch right now. But yeah, they're having lunch right now. And I bet Anya feels a little bit left out. But it's okay. She doesn't care. She's just like, you know what? I'm living my best life. And I get to be a scientist, so I do not care what other people think of me. I think Anya's really enjoying her f first couple days here. Honestly, she's still new, so no one really knows her. But she's been asking all the questions that she needs to and stuff. And she hopes that sooner or later she becomes really close friends with them and they have lunch together and stuff. But as of right now, she's having lunch by herself, which I don't think she minds much. She's really um, head first into her work, to be honest. She doesn't really socialize as much and I kind of want her to socialize because based on me playing on with her a little bit off camera, she, you can tell that she's very like flirty, she's really out there a little bit, but she is still a little shy, but you can tell she really wants to find like someone because she never really had a boyfriend before and she like talked to a few dudes, but like it never went anywhere and I think she really wants to, you know, have, meet someone special and stuff. So I see sometimes I'm like, mm, you never know, her and Chris can really get along and might date a little bit. Hello? You didn't even chat with him. And like I can see them, you know, kind of dating in the future, but for the long run, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, to be honest. Oh, he's flirty. Oh, he needs to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna let him. So in the science lab, they always have these crystals and stuff out. And I know there's some here, and there's some here, and there's some here. And we like, I like to dig them up and make some, and like keep them and like sell them and stuff to make money. Dig. I'm kind of speed it up. Come on, girl. Try to get all of it. I don't think we will, but it's okay. Oh, we got a promotion! Oh, to Junior Tinker! She will now make an additional 7 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 39 simoleons per hour. She also received the following bonuses. 256 simoleons, a flying saucer table lamp, and new clothes. Her shift starts... Her next shift starts at for, on Friday at 10 a.m. And she made a total of 375 simoleons. Yay! Okay, so we're in level 3. Let's see if we can actually do anything to our home because this is depressing. I think we're going to make a proper shower. We also need lights because we have none. And the lights that I like are the most expensive lights in the game. But we're going to use them anyway. Something a little nicer than she has. She still does have 400 simoleons. So I don't know if she can afford like a nicer bed. You know, we are actually starting to make some headway. We do not have a roof. We need to add some uh, roof again. <laughs> that looks a little dumb. It does. But I can't build for the life of me, so. How much is this house worth? 3,000 simoleons? Ooh. This looks awful. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so bad. It's okay though. Um, I forgot what roof trim I used, but I think I'm gonna just stick to that and do a black roof trim here. But that's all we have, really. 
I might change the mailbox because I don't like it and I think mailboxes are free in this game. That's what we're working with. I am not a builder so that looks awful but it's it's something. Anya has a full-on working bathroom. We still don't have a trash though which obviously shows what my priority is so we're just gonna get her ready for bed to be honest. But I hope you enjoyed this part. Literally, we just played her just so we can get to know her. Nothing really happened, honestly. We just played a day of work. But yeah, that's really Anya Carter. So hopefully in the next part we are a little bit ahead, you know. Maybe have some love interest here and there. <laughs> she looks so mad. But I hope you enjoyed this part. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.